round one. Well, isn't that just a very awkward hand we've drawn here? Still a bunch of twos. We're very likely to hit an island. A third of our deck is islands. Yeah, I'll keep. It's iffy, like it's not amazing, but the, the fact that we have both of our disperses in hand does make this feel better for me. Uh, that makes me feel worse, and so does that, but hey. So it goes. Still, if we draw an island next turn, we're uh, in pretty good shape. Oh, they attacked into Flare. Freeblade? A cleric. Okay. Yeah. That's awkward. Well, they played into it last turn, so I'll just run out the knife this turn. It would have been better value to run it the other way, but hey. Gilder, sure, sure. I cannot block. There we go. So, I can run out Scob here. I won't be able to block, but then I can kill probably the Anointer. Because they're going to be able to play at least a 5 drop next turn, possibly a 6. Yeah. This is too, too quick, right? Yep. And then after that, I'll have a uh, double disperse up. Eh. Not the most amazing hits, but I, I would like to start hitting some blues. I wouldn't really have wanted to draw it. I guess I wouldn't have minded drawing planes, but so it goes. Deal three to me, sir. You have been anointed the champion cleric. Eh, Rock Smallers is pretty good. Won't lie. Yeah, Rock Smallers is really good here. In point of fact. Well, if I put the knife on the scob, also worth noting, I would really like to draw on the planes here. I really like to draw on the planes. I can put the knife on the scob, not attack. They swing with just the Maulers. And I take five. see that I have an option. No tax. Also means if my opponent has a removal spell, I do get to see it. It doesn't really matter. I'm very low likelihood to win this game. Now they are just going to swing with everything. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just eat the gilder. Well, not eat, but trade with the gilder take seven. Yeah, all right. Island off the top would be not the worst thing I've ever heard of. Okay. Take 
okay. So, can I win if I go bounce, bounce, and take three? On my next turn, I can play... If I draw a land or ring ward now, presumably they'll play the Maulers after attacks. Right, so I go bounce, bounce. Take three. Play Maulers. At that point, I don't think I can win. It's not clear to me I can win from here. If I had Tragic Arrogance in my hand, maybe. Okay. Still, I'll pass if they play something pre combat. Best of all, if they put something on the one of these two. Alright, so I could bounce this and then they just replay this. Yeah, I think I'll let myself take lethal. I don't think it changes a lot if they see this trick it also possibly makes them play a trick here it's just that I can know about the value is not high but enshrouding mist okay Alright, so if I bounce Castellan back to their hand, they can play Castellan, they hit me for four, I can play Ring Warden Owl. I'll be at two. Is there any way I can survive at that point? I have to draw both a land and Tragic Arrogance. Play the Ring War now. I can block the 2-2 two, two, rather the 2-3. I still die to the 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, okay. Huh. Alright, so Green White has some good cards, clearly. Anointer, Citadel Castellan, Rock Smallers. Again, I don't know if that keep is right or wrong, but, I mean, with so many two drops in hand, or at least two mana plays, including the bounce, like it, it felt like keeping it was right, because if I hit my land, I had a pretty good chance of dealing with what, whatever, whatever they did. And I have a good amount of expensive spells if I go to mulliganing. Eh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I could have hit a, a Guardians, which might be a reason to mulligan. Eh. Alright, they have enough beef and are just aggressive enough. I think I do want another Guardians. Not certain what I want to cut. Oh, what a Corsair. I'll cut a Lash. They didn't show me the one trick, but... I'd be more likely to keep this in against um, Mighty Leap, but again, like I, I'd rather just have two Guardians against their uh, their beef, especially since White Green isn't super likely to be really great against Flyers. Not that I'm as all in on Flyers as I would like to be, but still. Alright, run it back. I'm 
would like to play first. There are six planes in this deck. How do I keep ending up with land with hands like this? Again, any land gets me a guardian zoo, so I think I keep it. Feels weird though. And I mean it could be that I'm just supposed to mulligan that. Again, I don't know. I've drawn half my planes. <laughs> and I was worried about never hitting a uh, thunderclap with them. The truth is, I'm never gonna hit uh, claustrophobia. Um, certainly possible that they have conclave naturalist would be very good against the Guardians. And Hedge Club of Clues is not bad against my deck. I would uh, feel like that was a true statement to make. And I'm running out Tower Geist here because I want to draw cards. You have one enemy in your hand and the other into your graveyard. Wyvern, please. Pass the turn. So, I'm not certain yet whether I'm going to go, uh, really. Oh wow, I, I cannot tell you what was wrong with my head there. I thought I was F2-ing through the attack step, or the uh, declare attacker step, not the blocker step. I wasn't going to block with Tower Geist, but I was definitely going to make this block. Jeez. Hunterino. So what I was getting at is I'm not sure if I'm going to play a Thunderclap here at Sorcery Speed. I actually think I'm just going to play Charging Griffin here. And so I'll attack with the Geist first. So I don't know what this trick was that my opponent had could just be uh, Enshrouding Mist on the uh, Recluse if I blocked, well, on either if I blocked. Putting up one blue doesn't really represent anything. Decent chance if we go to game three that they'll have Aerial Volley in their deck, but hey, what can you do? Besides get Aerial Volley, that's probably what you can do, or at least what I can do, but hey. We'll go how it goes. Is this a Rock Smaller? This is a Rock Smaller. I actually didn't attack. Okay. So, I have two mana left after I play the Wyvern, I can play Scob, and then that'll allow me to go block, block, and just trade Scob for Construct, and that seems alright. Hopefully, they block here, because this would be doing more damage, but they may block here, which is fine. They don't have a trick up. There's no way either of my flyers can die. Also, quite clearly, I've been treading a lot of time here, but so it goes. 
again, you know, decent chance opponent blocks there. Like, they haven't seen this card. That feels pretty good. Trading Thunderclap for a card. That feels pretty awful. Milling two of my best cards. And if they do attack here, I am blocking the Scob and not Thunderclap Women. I'll trade Scob for a trick. I don't want to trade this. <laughs> Interesting. Well, if they have a trick, they have a trick. Is this Might of the Masses? Could be Mighty Leap. Might of the Masses. Okay. You trample over for nothing. Boy, that second Thunderclap Wyvern would be real nice right here. So I serve in for five in the air, and then I can play either Ring Warden Owl or Corsair plus Scob. Yeah, I like Corsair plus Scob, because I can just double block with the Scobs. Hopefully this is an aerial volley. I don't think there's a real reason for them to board that in. Not two really good spells? Eh, okay. I'll take it. And if this attacks, I'm definitely blocking. Like, Yes, I get two for one to buy a trick, but... They did just use a trick. Corsair can attack pretty much for free through Bonded Construct. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. That gets four power off my side of the board, too, so they're probably okay with that. Timber Pack Wolf. They could have multiple of those. And they do. We're holding them, in fact. Okay, so I could Void Mage back my Griffin. That doesn't seem great. I could Void Mage back a Timber Pack Wolf and trade for the other Wolf and the Construct. That seems better. Again, this could be a trick, but if it's a trick, that's fine. Yes, I would like to use the ability. Mm, no blocks, eh? Okay. Dead to either of my flyers. Yes. Drew another one. swing with the, I'll just swing in the air. Uh, aerial volley doesn't do it. I don't know of anything that would do it here. Healing hands would, oh yeah, healing hands would have done it. That would have been pretty good. Yeah, so they got to see basically what my deck does. They did not have I was going to say they did not have as good a draw as they did game one, which is true, but they still drew pretty decently. I also drew decently well off of the <laughs> two plane start. So I want a third Guardians. Like I, I'm 
assuming my opponent has either a caterpillar or or naturalists, something along that line. But I'm not seeing anything that I think is actively bad. I mean, the scobs feel bad when they hit Thunderclap Wyvern, <laughs> but I don't think that's a reason to cut them. You know, I think it's just run it back like this. If, again, Drake doesn't look great here, it can't attack through a, um, that guy, that one guy, the Hitchclaw Recluse, and it can't block, but maybe I want Send to Sleep to deal with their fat? That doesn't seem great. I mean, Recluse is the only aerial blocker I've seen. Let's try this one if we get in the air some more. No, I think I just want to run back what I've got. And uh, hope I can get there on the draw. What is this? Blue mana in an opening hand? Still a two lander, but again, some two mana plays and a Guardians. Yeah. I'll run it. And a three drop. Opponent did not have a turn one play. Surely they'll have a turn two play. Timber Pack Wolves is a little awkward. If they have another one in hand, won't be able to trade with Scob. Turn to Frog is unfortunate. I would have chosen to draw Turn to Frog at some point, but I will gladly trade for your trick. Could have not blocked to hold Reckoning, but I figure Reckoning will be good at some point anyway. Uh, Corsair can't block Leaf Gilder, so play the Guardians. Clearly worse against uh, Conclave Naturalist. Of course, this can't be this turn, but could have been. Again, I haven't seen the naturalist, but I didn't pass one in the draft. Okay. Their hand is such that they're just trying to push through single points of damage. I feel pretty decently about my spot. Of course, they could have an answer for Tower Geist, but the good thing about Tower Geist is he's a two for one. It's an unfortunate choice to have to make, but. I think it's just always Thunderclap Wyvern. Like, they effectively attack for the same amount of damage here. I don't see any reason in trying to ambush anything with Wyvern here. I can just uh, hit for three, I think. Because a block here, yes, they can get in for three. But uh, I have enough removal, I'm pretty happy about that. I mean, Separatist is also there. just as a uh, insurance policy, sort of. I mean, opponent does still have several lands in hand. Or, excuse me several cards in hand and have not been playing lands. There we go. Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. Okay. 
I am familiar with that card. <laughs> I hope to play my own against you soon. <laughs> Alright, so I will be void maging that thing. Yeah, I'll be void maging that thing and hitting my opponent for five. And I guess next turn I'll be priced into claustrophobying it. He'll be tapping down my guardian, so that's going to be awkward. But let's see, can I do anything better than that? No. No. Still, Void Mage is pretty good here. I am not going to lie. buys an awful lot of tempo. And the fact that I can play another Guardians, I'll have to draw a land to do that next turn while claustrophobing, but the fact that I can play another Guardians is pretty good. I would choose for that to be thing. Alright, so I assume they tap down Tower Geist here. Still, I'm pegging away in the air for two. I don't have a ton of time to come up with an answer, but uh, I have some pretty decently powerful creatures. Alright, claustrophobia. That. run out the water courser because water courser can trade with citadel castellan which right now is the card that worries me the most the most on their board now if they have a kill spell for either of my flyers this board becomes way worse oh wow okay then Not blocking. Is this might of the masses? Yep. Hmm. So I did play my own sentinel. would then forever be tapping down their Castellan. Which I would then be able to kill with Swift Reckoning if something happened to my Sentinel? That doesn't seem terrible. I'll go to attacks and see what they tap down. Of course, clearly I, I cannot attack here. That's just not true. I, to put that another way, if they deal with my Sentinel, I can use Swift Reckoning on the Castellan after tapping it down with my Sentinel. If they don't deal with my Sentinel, I could two for one myself to kill their Sentinel. It is a play that is available to me. Now, if if they can kill my sentinel before they go to combat, well, that's, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with that position, but I think this was somewhat interesting. Let's see, I tap this down. Yeah, no, then I can just, they tap down, I assume, my Sentinel and I get in for five in the air. Yeah. Okay. Well. 
again, I, I'm glad the keeps worked out for me this time. My opponent's deck was quite strong. Citadel Castellan, Sentinel of the Eternal Watch, Anointer of Champions, uh, some tricks, Vox Maulers, multiple tim Timber Pack Wolves, but uh, uh, yeah, I drew my bomb, it kind of canceled out their bomb, and uh, yeah, we got there. So, see you in round two. Thanks for watching.